Hey my youth, you know where you watch Blessed my people, my dear, manners and respect, you know My people, you know the first thing I want to talk about I want to talk about uh, What I would call an edited video that shows When at least one motorcycle that was being operated by someone was on top of a roof and the roof that I'm talking about it seems to be some type of a concrete roof of a building at a party that was being held you know I mean there was quite a number of persons at the party and somehow the motorcycle fell from half of the roof yeah the motorcycle fell off of the roof somehow now i got the understanding from the video that at least one person was laying down on the ground after the motorcycle fell from half of the roof so i can assume that the motorcycle caused that person to be laying down on the ground I don't have any confirmed information to determine about any injury or anything like that but we get the understanding from the video that the motorcycle fall off of the roof and then I got the understanding from the video that at least one person was laying down on the ground so I'm not able to tell how bad the situation was now the reason why I'm talking about that edited video of your own subscribers I see it's become one point out certain things now with all due respect my people let me say this because me no one nobody feel like i'm disrespecting anyone with the with the most respect and this is how me stay if me the at a party and me say someone somehow bring a motorcycle on top of the roof of a building whether it wants to be concrete or or zinc or what me now nah, go nowhere near that building and the reason why is because me i think about the safety of my body me i think about my life with the with the most respect me i said this to the selectors them now to every selectors i think that selectors should protect some people when they might do certain things at party meaning that if you see somebody that does something that is dangerous tell the person don't do it as a selector me know say you don't want the party to continue and so forth so if certain things happen it can cause the party to stop you know it can cause the party to stop so me, me people me just talk about the situation cause uh, me get to understand about the situation but i can't help but think that i've seen this whole situation some way before and maybe it's a deja vu but let me know what you think about that my people all right and on that topic now my people i got information pertaining to something that happened to a female that makes me wonder what would happen to some people if they were from the country where the female is from see you might be surprised to hear what is the fine you might be surprised to hear what caused the certain things pertaining to the female and so forth you see me but i'm gonna explain to the best of my knowledge yeah before we get into that you know i would really and truly appreciate if you click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i post a video and listen to this normal people so it is said that a nigerian woman who wrote online review of what is said to be a can of tomato puree is facing being incarcerated or is facing being put in prison after its manufacturer accused her of making a malicious allegation that damaged its business so it is said that she's being prosecuted and sued in civil court for allegedly breaching the country's cybercrime laws in a case that has gripped the west african nation and sparked protests by locals who believe that she is being prosecuted for exercising her right to free speech now some of you might be wondering what the female had been accused of doing well listen to this 
So it is said that the female had been accused of asking her followers on a social media platform to share their opinions about uh, a tomato puree, alleging or claiming that uh, she said that she bought in place of her usual brands, saying she found it too sweet. And I think that is according to the post. So it is said that her post accompanied by what is said to be a photo of uh, an open can of the product sparked certain reactions from commentators one of whom replied stop spoiling my brother's product if don't like it use another one i call the customer service so it is said that a uh, respond said help me to advise your brother to stop a certain word people with his product Yesterday was my first time of using and it's pure sugar. So it is said that in the month of September the female had been arrested, viewers and subscribers. Now when me get that information, then I said to myself, say, but wait, I saw the thing serious. No, that's that's what I asked myself. If I really saw the, the whole situation serious. Well anyways, listen. One news article that I read said that in illegal filings, the Nigeria police force alleged that the female used her Facebook account with the intention to instigate people against Erisco Foods or the company. Some people might say the brand. Adding in a statement on March 7 that it had unearthed compelling evidence against her from its preliminary investigations. According to the police, the female was charged with uh, instigating Erisco Foods brand, knowing that uh, the said information to be false under section 24 bracket 1 bracket B of Nigeria's Cybercrime Prohibitation Act. If the female is found guilty, viewers and subscribers, it is said that the female could face up to three years in jail or a fine of seven million in a freedom type of money. I think they call it Naira. And it is also said that she could face both the jail time and the fine. So it is said that the female was separately charged with conspiring with two other individuals with the intention of instigating people against her the company are the brand she risked a seven-year sentence if convicted of this charge now my people based on the information that i got i wonder what is the thin line between freedom of speech and uh, certain things pertaining to what's going on when it comes down to the female now, me i wonder what's the thin line between freedom of speech and what can cause problem for someone in that country i'm not trying to go against the rules and the law you know me i just try to wonder you understand because if you don't like a product and if you talk about the product on social media you know basically expressing how you feel about it then me i wonder what are the thin line about it and then again now I'm also wondering what if the company have a, 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 a social media page or account and there's a part that say review and you give your opinion. I wonder about that as well too. If that, you know, can be any form of issue if you forgive your honest opinion upon the review. All them things that I think about. But my people, anyways, um, there's more to be said, but listen to this now, Zane. So it is said that the company said it also suffered the loss of multiple credit lines and had therefore filed a civil lawsuit against the female that sought five billion of the country's type of money. I think I said Naira. You understand? Yeah, five billion in what is said to be damages and that the case is due to be heard on a certain day yes the man said viewing subscribers now really and truly me really want to keep up with this because i want to know how this turn out you see this really and truly set away so it is said that the female is pregnant viewers and subscribers she have other children and it is said that the female is pregnant and it is said that the female said that she was arrested by police or she was arrested while she was in church 
and she said that she was detained in a leaky cell. It is also said that the female said that uh, I was put in the cell around 6 p.m. Well, according to a news article bracket, September 24. And it is said that the female said that uh, there were no seats, so I stood all through till the next day. It is said that the female said that her legs were inside the water, according to a news article bracket that came in from the leaking roof. It is said that the female said that sometimes she squatted to reduce the pressure on her legs and that she was thinking about uh, her children who were at home. It is said that the female said that uh, I was uh, talking to myself, I would think, I would pray, I was messed up. She said. It is said that the female said that uh, the following day she was flown to the Nigerian capital and held at a police station until her release on administrative bail were finalized a day later, she said. It is also said that the female said that uh, agreeing to apologize publicly to the company was a condition of her release on bail. However, it is said that uh, the female's lawyer basically talk about the situation somehow and it is said that uh, the female therefore did not apologize after her release. I'm not sure why. So it is said that uh, the police filed their case against the female within the month of October and that uh, the first court hearing took place uh, sometime within the month of December. It is said that on January 9, police entered her home and attempted to arrest her despite what is believed to be or said to be restraining order issued by a court within the month of November, barring her arrest without a court order. The people, this is one sticky situation. Hmm? Yes, you see social media can cause. What may I try to understand is the thin line part still. No, may I try to understand what is the thin line between the freedom of speech and uh, saying certain things that can get you into trouble? At the thin line, you know, it's good to have an understanding about that because obviously something happens when it comes down to the female. So, me that life for really know. But you tell me what you think, my people, and here's where I'm going to leave it. If you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and the click notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Until the next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up. Hey, my you, you know where you watch? Dancer Skiller! Hear me now? Hey, yo, Skiller!